Hey everyone, this is Kina from MKO Studio, and today I'm going to do some trials with some sink strainers. I ordered these off Amazon. You can see the three I've got laid out, and these three over here. I'm not going to use those today. This one's made of plastic, this one's made of silicone, and this one is plastic and silicone. It said silicone when I ordered them, but a little bit of plastic's okay. Uh, I'm going to use four colors on each one, but I'm going to try a different technique on each one. I expect to get a different pattern because of the different patterns within the strainers, but we're going to do a different technique and see what we get. I'm going to be using, of course, my um, Artist Loft White, Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow, uh, Deco Art Americano Carousel Pink, and Deco Art Americano Satin Cobalt. It's blue. I thought I'd try some spring colors or summer colors and see what we could come up with. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, coat my canvases, so I'll be right back. set my strainers down now. I've got my white down as a base. Try to center these. I know I don't need much. These are only um, six by eight canvases from the dollar store. So let's see. On one of them, I'm going to layer. I've got my white. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to do my blue. Pink. And yellow. Another one, I'm going to use my four compartment cup that I've got. So we're gonna add yellow in this one. Okay, I'm gonna let those sit a minute. One, I'm going to just pour. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one first. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of white. Then blue. Then pink. Then yellow. All right, and this one. Let's see if I've got the right way. Whoops, now I've got it leveled to go this way. It didn't look level. There we go. It's sliding. All right, so here we go with the four cup, uh, four compartment cup pour. And then we'll go with the layered, layered cup. which has some of the colors mixed. So it'll be a little bit different for me just pouring them on. All right, we'll come back to this one first. I'm gonna lift up a little bit. And just let that drain. All right, so there's the first pattern we got. Looking cool. And you can see the colors as I light them. This is the one with the compartments. That's a completely different pattern, different look. This is the one that was in the cup, layered. And 
No bubbles. Same colors, different strainers, different techniques. Make different, different art. <laughs> Okay, now that we've got our uh, strainer pours done, I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can do with tilting a little bit. This one didn't flow much. I'm gonna try to make it nice and slow. Try to keep that center. Some of these I may speed up uh, for time's sake on the video. Sit it down and look at it. That's one thing I don't do enough of. You know, before you started tilting, a lot of it, yeah. this, all that blue looked almost like a feather headdress. Oh, I know. I know. And I want to save this. I don't even know if I want to even go Leave much some further. some negative. Yeah, I could. I'm going to go just a little further, though. Look. It's a donkey. <laughs> yes, it is. Or a lamb. A lamb or a donkey or something. A little Kodiak bear. Isn't that cool? Isn't that just cool? If it stays. Yeah. I actually think I like the white there with that little speckle that it mm -hmm. has in it. I mean, mm -hmm. just leave that as part of the painting. Yeah. All right. We'll move on down to this one. Moving on down the road. I wish I had that one completely level. I believe I had a little bit more paint in this one. Why don't we get the spin around for the next one? Huh? Why don't we get the Lazy Susan out? You put that on the Lazy Susan and spin that other one around a little bit. Okay. We're back. Uh, my husband has a suggestion of putting it on this Lazy Susan. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm not going to go fast. So I don't want it everywhere over everything. So we'll just go a little bit and see what happens. I think the yellow's really flowing. some spin art look at how those drag see see now you're getting those loops to drag instead of sliding them all over the place you yeah. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Ooh, i'm gonna get people dizzy with this one enjoy the ride y'all i just need this corner so what i can do is just improvise here glad my husband suggested the lazy susan i think that's something i'll uh, use more in the future because as you can see on this first one we were able to keep the definition, but you got some beautiful colors in here that mingled and some a few cells. We don't have silicone, and that was with the, the plastic one here. This one, as you can see, I just tilted. It muddied some. Um, it's unique. I might call it lightning. It's different, and that was with this silicone one. And then the last one here was with this one here, which was plastic and silicone. And again, I think if we would have used the Lazy Susan, it would have looked a whole lot better. But there are a cute, uh, cool features on this 
that I like. I do like the way this is uh, shadowy and layered up here. I do like the dark blues that are coming out of it. And I like our little donkey figure or whatever figure that is. <laughs> little lamb, little donkey, little, 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 little something there. Definitely looks like a little something there, like a little cub or a, maybe a lamb head or, I don't know, it's pretty cute. cute. That is cute. Okay. Well, that's my experiment for the day. Uh, let me know which one you like best. This one is number one. This one's number two. And this one's number three. Uh, I learned a lot today. I hope you did. And thank you for watching MKO Studio. Uh, check us out on YouTube. We're on YouTube now under MKO Studio. We'd like for you to visit, follow us, like us, and... Uh, share and subscribe so until next time have a good day we'll bring you in for close-up okay for a bonus video um, I've decided I don't like this middle one so good Muddy colors and number just not two. very pretty. Number two, what'd I say? Number two, the middle one. The middle number one, two. number two. So, we're going to use the cellophane trick. I haven't done it before, so we'll see what happens. So, from what I understand, you lay down your cellophane. Okay. Now, you grab the edges up and pull. Very slow. Well, talk about a drastic change. Yeah, and uh, some cells will pop out in this as the colors come up through the white. Oh, you want the turntable again? Sure. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, this ended up so cool. I'm glad uh, Mike talked me into doing this. Look how pretty this is, y'all. Got the swift colors in there. I just love it. But I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit. So you're gonna spin it. Oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> okay, this is just so cool, so I'm gonna spin it now and see what we get. Wow, that's looking awesome. Maybe tilt it down towards that corner some? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That looks awesome. We'll do one more. Are y'all dizzy yet? <laughs> What if you took a straw and blew out that blob thing more towards right the edge? Yeah, blow that out towards the edge with a straw. We're gonna use every technique under the sun. It's going to end up looking pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to touch this. No, don't touch that. That's beautiful. All right, now spin it. Let's 
seen them fly off before. <laughs> Get that right over the edge. Wow, I love the wisps mm -hmm. in here. I love the color combination right here uh -huh. and the way it wisps. Uh -huh. And I think that part that I blew is going to end up looking good. It's got tiny cells in it. Here comes some more. Oh, yeah. The white will come up through. There it goes. Okay, we hope you like this extra video that we put on the end. Uh, I think this come out phenomenal. And this just shows that if you've got a painting that you don't like, uh, you think people won't like, Go ahead and try something new with it. Um, can turn into a masterpiece. Thanks for watching again, guys. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.